We got it done. All the steel's on. Iron's in the rack. Saw's out here. Yeah, I have a few other things to do. I'm going to add some road base to the floor. I'm going to do a little bit of wiring for the saw. But I have uh, buried conduits under the sidewalk that come out from my shop. All I have to do is dig them up and shove a wire through them from the inside the shop. And I'll get uh, one, one ten of my saw. I'll, I might put a couple of lights on. I don't know. I don't, I don't do a lot of work in the dark. I think just power for the saw will be good. I'll get that done. Uh, the tin went on really great. The only cuts we had to make is I, I should have made this uh, back wall maybe two inches taller. And I kind of wished I would. That's, that's one of the regrets. Make the whole thing just a little taller. Uh, one of my nephews is pretty tall. He might hit his head on the corner. I'll, I'll put a tennis ball on it or something. He'll only do it once. Probably. I hope. Anyway, we got that done. Uh, I ordered all the tin pre-cut, the size I needed. It was one whole sheet. It was kind of a bear for me and Cindy to put up on, on the east wall. The back side went good. The top went good. These, uh, this is polycarbonate. You've seen me cut it with a pair of scissors. If, I might have to put a little brace in there. It might be, it might be going to rattle a little too much. You can hear it. If me just flipping on it. Yeah. So we'll look into that. Does the wind blow? It does blow out here, but it's blowing pretty good right now, and, and it's not doing nothing. So I'll walk you around a little bit and show you what we got, what we did. I kind of have a solids on this side this is the west wall pretty much all blacksmith stuff solid and then my assortment of smaller stuff I don't want to throw away I still have some rubber spikes and horseshoes to put out there a little bit of pipe some square tube angle iron I got an empty rack yet uh, some flat bar we'll walk around just take a look at it rod that sticks out right there is for a ground. I will probably ground the building. I'll drive a ground rod. Put the copper wire to that. Tried to make that cut. And it's pretty hard to make them cut straight. You can kind of see that. That's just good enough, I guess. Most of the time in tin work they cover all that with a kind of a corner. But you can see the edge down there, there's no stair stepping, it's nice and square. Nice and square, about an eighth inch reveal on that tin work. So that come out really nice. Lined up with the shop. Oh look, there's Brandy. She's soaking up some of the sun this morning. Gets really warm on that uh, southern exposure shop in the winter time. And we got this side. My wife said, you should have put a window in it. It would have made a great playhouse. <laughs> I'm sure the kids would be crawling all over in there. Anyway, that's that was my idea of the saw shed. And it's a little bit open. I can park a four-wheeler in it. Sometimes we have a spray tank in the back of our four-wheeler. So it's going to serve more purposes than just steel. Open on the east end here. I may put a door on that far end. Uh, it'll just be a frame with a clear polycarbonate on it. And then mainly just to keep the snow from blowing through in the winter. I'm not going to worry about that now though. I've probably already talked too much. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll surely answer them. You might have some suggestions on what I did wrong. I'm not a tinner, although it did turn out pretty good, I, I think. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Watch the other videos, upcoming stuff, firewood cutting this summer up in the mountains. We have a schoolie that's off-grid. We're going to paint it this year. It's been up there for about 25 years, uh, about 8,000 feet. Uh, we bought a TIG welder. We're going to build a TIG cart for that. There'll be a video for that and some TIG welding and I'll try to get some better footage of the actual welding. Ooh, look what came in the mail today. Mm. 
that's going to be fun. Did a John Deere bucket repair on my one little loader. The bucket cracked on it. Anyway, again, thanks for watching. Watch the rest of the videos. Be careful. Hope to see you soon. Here we go. It's home. Now we're just going to level it up a little bit. Okay. Freeze.
Here it is, tens on, pretty light inside. I might put a door on that end and just use clear panel. We'll see. Depends on what I want to do. Only, only if the snow blows in in the winter, that's all I'm concerned about. Okay. I had extra screws, so I'm going to go in and put a few screws around the top, add a few more to these panels, try to get rid of that. So I'll put one here and one here. It feels fairly floppy. I don't want it to rattle in the wind too bad. <laughs> 